Hello and welcome to Around the World in Two Minutes. I'm Brianne McCann. And I'm Mr. Fraser. Let's see what happened in the world this week. Economic sanctions in place since 1979 have been lifted from Iran. Iran also released five American prisoners in return for seven Iranians being held here. These diplomatic interactions with Iran are incredibly significant and are already fueling fires in the presidential election. In more exciting news, Taiwan elected its first female president, Tsai Ing-wen, the Democratic candidate. This will mean great change for the people of Taiwan after eight years under the government of the pro-Chinese Kuomintang party. As we've mentioned in an earlier show, China and Taiwan aren't necessarily on the best of terms, and Beijing has promised there will be great challenges for the Taiwanese government, especially seeing as under Tsai Ing-wen's leadership, they will not be as willing to work with China. Infamous drug lord El Chapo was captured after escaping a high security Mexican prison through an elaborate tunnel last summer. His recent capture has only brought more drama as an interview with actor Sean Penn has proven incredibly controversial for both Guzman, El Chapo, and Penn. His attempt to reach out to his agents to make a biopic of his life helped the Mexican government to track him down, leading to a bloody shootout at his hideout. In heavier fare, this weekend there were two primary deadly attacks, one in Burkina Faso in Africa and the other in Jakarta, Indonesia. In Burkina Faso, attackers seized a luxury hotel, automatically shooting some and taking others hostage. A bloody standoff lasted for hours, ending with at least 28 people dead. Responsibility was claimed by an Al-Qaeda-linked group. In Jakarta, the attack took place outside of a Starbucks. A suicide bomber and gunman working together killed at least three people and injured 25 more. Following police intervention, four attackers are also now dead. On the home front, the election is really heating up. The SparkNotes version is that Donald Trump continues to question Ted Cruz's eligibility to run due to being born in Canada. And Ted Cruz's response, he coined the term New York values, accusing all New Yorkers of being liberals, which only ended up giving him the front page of the New York Daily News with the headline, Drop Dead, Ted. Bernie Sanders is continuing to prove a more serious challenge for Hillary Clinton than previously predicted. All of this will culminate just in time for the Iowa caucuses on February 1st of this year. On that note, remember Lions, contacting movie agents may not be the best way to stand or cover. Have a great week.